thank you, uh, Dr. Olinik. It's again a great pleasure to be introduced by you. <laughs> so, but here, uh, there is a problem because you are a co-author, okay, also. <laughs> no, it's not a problem because we are firm. So, uh, I spoke in the first talk uh, that we are doing uh, nanometer-sized uh, electrochemical probes to measure uh, reactive oxygen species, reactive nitrogen species in single, single cells and in single organelles inside of the cell, okay? So we are uh, a step even further, okay? Not on, on the pro previous talk was the brain, the tissue and the cell, okay? And now we are inside of the cell in the organelle. So I put this slide here because I thought there will be a physicist and so on. We spent uh, uh, all the community, uh, chemists, uh, doctors, physician doctors, and so on. We have lost a lot of time because, in fact, following uh, the Marie Curie uh, family uh, cancer, and especially, I uh, apologize for my ja Japanese uh, friends, but following uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, he was find that uh, uh, most of the people died not from the bomb itself, but uh, from uh, all the radiations that were emitted. So the physicists started to wonder what it is that, and they soon discovered that uh, ionizing uh, radiation is able to split the water molecule in two, okay, OH dot and H dot. H dot recombined into hydrogen and goes away, okay, and OH, OH dot now can uh, abstract things everywhere. The, uh, the, it's not the same as when we consider now, because this OH dot is generated randomly inside of a cell. It can be uh, generated in the cytoplasm near one protein. It will destroy the protein, but that's all. But it can be generated into ribosomes, it can be generated into DNA, into RNA, and then create mutations. And that is, uh, the thing has not started. Ah, okay, thank you. So, in fact, uh, for a long time, every people have been looking for OH dot. And chemists say, okay, OH dot is okay. Uh, it does not exist because it's too reactive, okay. You cannot make a jar of OH dot, but there is a Fenton reaction, which is very, very well known. If you have hydrogen peroxide, Fenton reaction with iron, okay, salt, you cleave the H, uh, peroxide, hydrogen peroxide in two, and you have two OH dot. So everybody rush to try to understand this. The problem is that in the body, the iron is very, very uh, uh, controlled by uh, sequ uh, sequestrated, sequestrated by uh, uh, proteins that uh, uh, don't allow anything to come in contact except the machinery that makes uh, uh, the enzyme who needs the iron, okay? So this is very suspicious and progressively the chemists, the biologists, and the physician the view evolve uh, uh, toward uh, one thing, is that this OH dot is not generated from the outside, but is generated by the cell themselves. And we had a, a very good discussion this morning about the mitochondria, okay? So this is uh, what happens in the mitochondria in, the, in between the two membranes. So, uh, you have the cycles that uh, generate from glucose or uh, lactose, okay? Uh, the, in fact, you oxidize completely with oxygen to CO2, and that generates electrons. These electrons are carried to the uh, inner membrane, and here you have the protein that each of these electrons that are carried by uh, quinones, okay, by hydroquinones, okay, are uh, pushing. Uh, one electron up, and this is associated with a proton, okay? Uh, because you need to remain neutral. And that you have a cascade here that enrich the inner compartment of the mitochondria with protons. But if you generate too much, then the, the pH will become too, too low, and the mitochondria will suffer. 
So the mitochondria now is using part of the electron to reduce oxygen that can enter through, through the membrane, okay, into superoxide. And normally this is treated, this is taken care about superoxide dismutase that we heard this morning, okay, that will uh, disproportionate the uh, superoxide ion and then uh, the catalase that will uh, uh, disproportionate the hydrogen peroxide. But if not, that will accumulate uh, reactive oxygen species and reactive nitrogen species. By the way, we are uh, animals with hot blood, okay? Uh, so we generate our own heat, and this is by this reaction. So when the superoxide here uh, is uh, created, uh, part of the superoxide is used to make water, and the heat is the one that is making our uh, own uh, thing. And that is one of the reasons why after a good meal, we feel uh, to be very hot, okay? Even without alcohol. <laughs> With alcohol, even more, <laughs> okay? So this is one of the issues where you, we generate about 6% of the oxygen we breathe and it goes this way. Fortunately, it is clean, okay? The over is we have heard this morning also with NADH and NADPH, okay? Uh, you have the cartoon here of the enzyme, which is NADH or NADPH oxidase. And uh, when uh, the, you have NADP plus or NAD plus, that is a kind of uh, yen or dollar or euro, okay, is used by the cells, generate NADPH or NADH, and that is oxidized into back into NADP plus or NADE plus. The problem is that the uh, enzyme cannot store the electron, it's not a battery, so it shuttle this electron uh, on the other side of the membrane, and it, the, the acceptor in the cell is oxygen. So the oxygen will generate the superoxide again, okay? So that contributes also to a constant uh, uh, way hmm, of generating superoxide. Again, you have the cleaning, but the cleaning may be not always efficient. So again, this is the same slide as before that you have seen this morning. Uh, between the cleaning, between the antioxidant and so on, you, you maintain a balance between what you need to do and uh, for the metabolic uh, pathways, okay, and what you do. And for example, it was uh, uh, you, uh, Aruiko, you, uh, Professor Inufusa discussed the problem of the metabolism this morning, okay. So you need to be on the balance uh, equilibrated. If not, you get into a problem in one side or on the other side. So now, if we look uh, uh, the macrophage, the macrophage are known since a very long time that these are the primary uh, soldiers in our uh, bodies to defend ourselves against bacteria, virus, and uh, dead cells, cancer cells, and so on, to digest uh, the, these things. So this part of the work is done in collaboration with Mikhail Mirkin. Uh, so the contention, the controversy was uh, that the uh, biologists were considering that uh, you had, uh, you remember, NADPH or uh, oxidase is transmembrane, okay? So uh, you have uh, on the left, the NADPH uh, oxidase, that is a kind of uh, black uh, stuff across the membrane of a phagolysosome, okay, where the, the uh, macrophage will digest, okay, will generate the oxygen, uh, will uh, react on oxygen, use the electron, produce the superoxide, and that will uh, eventually make hydrogen peroxide. So the idea was that, uh, okay, but now, the concentration of uh, hydrogen peroxide you generate are so small that you can drink this hydrogen peroxide without any problem. Like uh, this idiotic president of the US said to get rid of COVID, you drink hydrogen peroxide, okay? Which is completely silly because he is not speaking of the same concentration. So that's the danger when people who are not scientists uh, do not understand, especially when they are a president of uh, a state, of the biggest state of the world. So, in fact, 
since in the phagolosiosome there is no trace of uh, iron, there is no trace of uh, copper, it's impossible to think this is the way to generate OH dot. But based on the former work that I explained, okay, it's known on this phagolosiosome you have uh, 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 nitric, nit nitric oxide uh, uh, synthase that will grab l arginine to oxygen to produce l citrulline that was in the talk of uh, Ferid Moran this morning and generate nitric oxide. And as you remember, nitric oxide is a very lipophilic mo molecule, so it can re-enter in. And now, uh, this is the partner, the gang, okay? NO2, uh, NO dot, and superoxide, that's the one of the Alzheimer's uh, uh, previous talk, okay? We generate the per, uh, peroxy nitrate. And this peroxy nitrate now will uh, be uh, cutting uh, any things, okay? Uh, any uh, lipidic or protein or so on. So this here you have the, again the, what I showed before. And with the electrode, depending on the potential we put the electrode, we can detect, uh, for example, when we polarize the electrode at 300 millivolt, this is ver versus uh, saturated calomel electrode, Sa saturated sodium calomel electrode, because we cannot put some potassium here. So at 300 millivolt, you see mostly hydrogen peroxide a bit of superox uh, peroxy nitrite. At 400 millivolt, you see the sum of the two, so it's very easy to, 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 to separate. At 620, you have in addition the nitric oxide, and at 850, you have in addition the nitrite, okay? So by having an electrode that works at different potential, we can tell exactly what uh, is, it is measured. So here, now, how we can do? We can do either with an electrode that will be entering inside of the uh, phagolysosome. So this is the top view. At this moment, the electrode, uh, this is a nano electrode, this is a work with uh, Merkin, uh, will detect inside one of the uh, uh, phagolysosome. Eventually, you can detect only the inside of the big one. So uh, phagolysosomes that are around uh, 300 nanometer, 400 nanometer. And none of the, but the problem is that those experiments you will see are very lengthy, very delicate. So you cannot get a real statistical uh, outcome. Now, what we can do, we uh, methods that we invented with uh, Wei Wa Wang, this, uh, we will give a talk uh, on Wednesday, is simply bring a nano electrode, so we have changed the, the size here. Uh, we have an electrode that is about 300 nanometer uh, like this. We pass inside of the, of the uh, we enter inside of the macrophage, and now we wait that one phagolysosome will come and rupture itself on the uh, electrode. When he ruptures itself on the electrode, he releases the reactive oxygen species, reactive nitrogen species. We can oxidize them as a function of the potential, and we know exactly. But now we can have thousands of them coming to the electrode. So that is the case with uh, Mirkin, when uh, we have this electrode with a cavity. So you see uh, on the, we have this uh, uh, nano pipette, and uh, one of, of the object. Uh, it's filled with uh, CVD carbon except for a cavity at the top. And now when we have that, the carbon is used as an electrode inside and we deposit black platinum. So this is the same electrode or an another very identical. And you see now that the black platinum has been deposited and now you have the black platinum here. So here it is uh, uh, a penetration inside uh, 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 metastatic cell of the uh, breast cancer, okay? So, uh, the, uh, you, you have to read uh, from the uh, right part, okay? So, when the electrode is far from the cell, you have a baseline current, uh, which is uh, 
due to the ruthenium uh, uh, free uh, reduction, okay? But when you uh, come to the contact to the cell, now the ruthenium cannot diffuse to the, to the electrode, the current drop, and up to point, it, it, it just stops because you reach a point where the leak is almost the same because uh, the, the electrode is coming to the membrane and the membrane uh, make a little uh, invagination like this, okay? Up to the point where the pressure is sufficiently strong, the membrane rupture, okay? Uh, slide uh, and the electrode is inside and then you repeat uh, with the organelles. Okay, so this is what we do when uh, like this. And now when the electrode is inside of one phagolysosome, you can do what we call a cyclic voltammetry and you see that uh, for an electrochemist, this is very clear, you see only nitric oxide oxidation wave. So that is something which is surprising because at the beginning people were saying this is hydrogen peroxide, okay? But what we see is only nitric oxide. But now when you look uh, by maintaining the potential, you remember the three values of the potential. We can record at, in the same phagolysosome at the four different potential by simply shifting the potential and con in continuous returning. And you are, uh, uh, signals that are completely different as a function of the potential. But when you extract that to take into account the uh, electroactivity of the compound, you realize that uh, most of the signals are almost nothing, okay, except nitric oxide, which is compatible with the cyclic voltammetry. So nitric oxide is in green here, okay? And so why it is uh, almost uh, not is because uh, there is almost no free superoxide, so you'd have almost no hydrogen peroxide, all the superoxide is consumed by the excess of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is reacting with to produce uh, peroxynitrite that reacts, okay? Since it reacts uh, directly on the electrode, its concentration cannot go up. But the nitric oxide can, excess can accumulate, and this is exactly what you see. When you go back now by extraction uh, of for each, you see roughly that you generate uh, two, two and a half nitric oxide for one superoxide, okay, uh, as a function of time. And if you look the time, remember these objects are like 300 nanometer, okay? But you, uh, the, the current continues of generation of nitric oxide and superoxide continue for hours. Here you have uh, up to 3,000 uh, seconds, which is close to one, uh, one hour. But it's just cut uh, here because uh, for recording, okay? But it will go for complete, okay? So th this is what, uh, you, if you remember, we were speaking about uh, homeostasis. Is uh, the, the, the electrode is entered into the phagolysosome. So it's like if it is a bacteria or whatever. The, uh, macro, uh, the phagolysosome detects that its uh, uh, peroxynitrite is uh, disappearing and continue to produce it. And while it, can pro it will be limited only by the availability of uh, L-arginine and uh, oxygen, okay? And that will continue and here you have a reaction. Not all the phagolysosomes are similar, okay? Some uh, uh, produce less, some uh, wait uh, uh, a longer moment before be becoming activated. So this is very interesting because it means that each phagolysosome is different, okay? But the problem is that then how do you make statistics? To make statistics with this method is impossible because if you want to do thousands of uh, measurement, the student will never have a thesis, okay? Because it, it will be uh, 60 years when they get uh, to, uh, to the end, okay? One experiment like this is one day, okay, to fix the idea. So this is uh, why we resorted to the other alternative with Wei Wa Wang in uh, Wuhan. So basically we take uh, silicon carbide uh, nanowire, so you, you can uh, buy them in the various uh, uh, diameter, 
Uh, here we use the 300 uh, nanometer because uh, 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 this allows that to be uh, observable when to manipulate them. But if it was done in industry, we could go even uh, lower, okay? So now what we do is uh, by CVD, because silicon carbide is not uh, electroactive, so you deposit the carbon around the, the, the silicon, uh, uh, silicon carbide wire, and on this one, okay, you insulate, and on this one, you, at the tip, you will deposit the uh, black platinum simply by electrolyzing, pushing uh, in a solution of uh, black platinum salt, uh, of uh, uh, palladium-4 salt, and you reduce that, so you get uh, what uh, is a pink here on the uh, thing, which is the coperture of uh, the platinum. And here you have uh, electron micrograph that shows how the thing is. Okay, the enlargement shows a kind of uh, sleeve of uh, platinum. Okay, and uh, the over is one where you see uh, uh, the carbon layer and the uh, silicon carbide. Okay, so this is perfectly controlled. So over 10 electrodes that you do, nine are perfectly working. Okay, and so now we can enter into the cell. Since uh, it is 300 nanometer, you just push and it goes like uh, into butter, okay? It's very entering like in water, okay? And the membrane will seal around, okay? Then you can uh, have your platinum uh, tip uh, inside, and each phagolysosome that comes in will simply blow apart, the same as a bubble uh, of uh, soap, okay? Blows when it touches something and release what he has in. Eventually, now it is dead, okay? He, he cannot make a long homeostasis. So we can uh, count, uh, so what we see is a series of spikes like this. Each one has a typical morphology. Here you have three main morphologies of the spikes that are shown on the trace here, but you have traces where you have thousands of them, okay? So if you do 10 uh, different cells, you get 10,000 to 20,000 experiment. Then we can uh, do that by uh, size, uh, quantity of uh, oxidative stress inside, uh, the duration, uh, and so on, okay? But this is typical electrochemistry, so I will not enter in, okay? And now, what is the surprise is that you expect that uh, when you have uh, such a thing, Nothing because the system having uh, NADH, uh, NADPH oxidase and nitric oxide, uh, nitro uh, nitric oxide synthase are completely disconnected, so they cannot make anything, okay, together. So the system should go to zero. And this is what we, we observe. But for several of the guys, this is not what we observe. Uh, majority of the system give a shoulder and it is the, the at the beginning we could not understand what it is that but it is not a, a problem of uh, experiment because it follows perfectly the equation which is uh, on top here so this is the quantity inside as a function of time is what is released so this is a first term uh, which is here that we master perfectly. This is the one we use for exocytosis. But you have a second term, which is the homeostatic production. So you are eating the guys, and the uh, phagolysosome is trying to uh, regenerate it, okay? So this is exactly what we have seen in the over experiment, except in the over experiment, the phagolysosome was still alive, will continue for hours. But for hours, but uh, this one will die eventually, okay? So, uh, now, I will very quickly, I told you that I will speak about that, okay? So, uh, uh, Aruiko and uh, uh, Professor Inufuza spoke about that. Uh, this is uh, here, 
uh, when you have uh, mitochond uh, mitochondria that are creating a problem inside of the neuron, for example, so you have a cartoon which is uh, on the bottom. You have cis uh, dopamine is used to generate uh, reactive oxygen species either uh, outside and that diffuse enter into the cell or pass through channels uh, which are related to the uh, recovery channels of uh, neurons and will generate the reactive oxygen species inside. So that will attack the uh, healthy mitochondria, uh, destroy the mitochondria or make it impaired and that uh, if uh, the, either the neuron cannot work, either you go to apoptosis. Okay, that, uh, we, uh, it was explained this morning, okay? So, how will we do? We do with uh, the neurons, the body are in a microfluidic system uh, on the top uh, 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 part, and uh, we have muscle cells that are on the bottom, and you have channels in between, and so we can have, uh, like uh, when uh, it occurs in a natural thing, the axon will uh, grow because it's called by the uh, muscular cell, okay, and that generates one uh, synapse, okay. Uh, this synapse, now we know exactly what is the neuron that is uh, do doing, so we can measure with the electrode directly inside of the synapse and uh, stimulate this neuron. So now, and that is arpagite, this is a natural product, okay, uh, that you can buy. So if you take uh, neurons, now each of the synaptic uh, train uh, is one spike, as you see here, okay? You apply 6-hydroxy uh, uh, dopamine and the trace become flat, okay? So almost no, nothing. So the neuron does not uh, fire, okay? Now, if you treat that, the neuron with arpagide, okay? This is an antioxidant, a natural one. Uh, you see that uh, the, uh, without hydroxy, uh, the neuron is firing much better, okay? Larger firing uh, and more numerous uh, things. But now if you apply the same 6-hydroxy uh, dopamine, the neuron still, okay, is reduced compared here, but not so reduced compared to the original trace, okay? So in fact, here you are exactly what uh, Professor Inukuza was saying this morning we can detect that this antioxidant, natural antioxidant, is protecting the neuron. Okay? With, with that, uh, okay, these are statistics, so I will uh, jump. So you have, again, the same people. In ENS, uh, Professor Irina Zbir, who is here, and Dr. Alexander Olinik. Uh, uh, in China, this is Wei Wa Wang, Yang Ding Yu of before. One excellent person here is Yu Ting Li, okay? Remember this name because uh, she will be known in the future. She is bright and excellent in experiment, okay? You have uh, many people, remember you are in China, so there are always many people. And in uh, Queens uh, College in uh, New York, Professor Mirkin, KK Ru now is, uh, is uh, she has joined uh, back China, she is in Xiamen. And uh, so, to conclude, these are the same people. I want to thank you all for your attention, your kind attention. Thank you very much.